Hey there, everyone. You're watching the latest here on F4W Online. I'm Denise Salcedo, and we got several news stories to get into here today. So let's get right to it. Kicking things off with AEW All In Ticket Sale News. AEW sold more than 36,000 tickets for $4.7 million in revenue during the Tuesday pre-sale for this August All-In event at London's Wembley Stadium. In a reply to a tweet from this website, ESPN boxing writer Mike Coppinger tweeted the following. Hearing Wembley is scaled for only 40,000 for AEW. Far cry from last April when I was ringside for Tyson Fury, Dillian White, and it was packed to the brim with 94,000. Nothing beats the big fight feel at Wembley. Tony Khan then responded by saying, Lies, what a load of crap. Tell your agent, Nick Khan, to shove it up his ass. Furthermore, Tony Khan added, Since you carry the credentials of a credible reporter and represent the worldwide leader, I'm just curious, who was your source for this and how can a reporter representing ESPN tweet something about a legit news story that's so blatantly wrong and easily verified as a falsehood? The number guarantees AEW will have their largest ever attendance and largest ever gate before a single match is even announced. The show is set for Sunday, August 27th. The broadcast availability and start time has yet to be revealed, but it appears unlikely to be a pay-per-view with All Out happening the following weekend. Full seating capacity for the event is still unknown. AEW has yet to announce any additional shows in the United Kingdom before the event. AEW head Tony Khan first announced the event in early April and said it would be one of the biggest shows in the history of the company. Dethroning Roman Reigns is still one of Cody Rhodes' top priorities in WWE. In an interview with Comic Book Nation, Cody Rhodes spoke about his unfinished story with Roman Reigns. Rhodes said that despite losing at WrestleMania 39, the goal still remains the same for him, defeat Reigns and win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. To which he said, The most important thing to me is still the championship that sits on Roman's shoulders, and it's the biggest match that WWE could do. But it would take a great deal of mountains to be moved for that rematch to even happen. So, the goal is the same for me, and I just kind of have to see it through and do the work. Rhodes and Reigns are on opposite brands following the 2023 WWE Draft. Reigns and Solo Sokoa were selected with SmackDown's first pick in the draft, while Cody Rhodes was then selected with Raw's first pick. Additionally, a new World Heavyweight Champion for Raw will be crowned at WWE Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia on Saturday, May 27th. And Trinity, the former WWE wrestler, Naomi is excited to step into her new chapter with Impact Wrestling. After making her debut at a set of television tapings on Friday night, Trinity was interviewed by NBC Chicago. Trinity called her Impact debut very, very overwhelming and said she wasn't able to hide her emotions during the appearance. Friday night was her first time back in pro wrestling since she and Mercedes Monet walked out of an episode of Raw back in May 2022. In her interview with NBC Chicago, Trinity said she chose to join Impact Wrestling wrestling because of the strength of the company's women's division. Saying, quote, I've been wrestling 14 years now and then one day everything, everything just changed. And I felt like my whole world was turned upside down and things were shuffled around. It took a little time to just process everything and really sort out what I wanted to do, where I wanted to be. I've been watching these women for years from afar and always admired the talent here. Once I made that decision, that's what I wanted to do. I went after it and now I'm here. Lastly, she told NBC Chicago that she believes everything happens for a reason and feels like her W. WWE departure was a blessing in disguise. Some updates from yesterday as well include WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther and former NXT UK wrestler Ginny officially got married at a ceremony over the weekend. The wedding ceremony took place in the United Kingdom at the Four Seasons Hotel London and 10 Trinity Square. On social media, Gunther shared a photo of him and Ginny celebrating the day. And more happy news, Carmella's recent absence from WWE programming has been explained. Along with her husband Corey Graves, Carmella revealed on Monday to Good Morning America 
that she is pregnant. The couple first discovered that they are expecting in March and the baby is due in November. Earlier this year, Carmella appeared on After the Bout with Corey Graves and spoke about having suffered two miscarriages last year. An ectopic pregnancy landed her in the hospital for several days in October and Carmella said the experience left her with feelings of depression. She hasn't wrestled since a March 12th house show from Madison Square Garden in New York. In the build-up to WrestleMania 39, she had been teaming with Chelsea Green and appeared to be going after the WWE women's tag titles. However, Carmella was quietly removed from television and eventually replaced by Sonya Deville in the program. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back with more of the latest. Before you go, don't forget to click that subscribe button and check out our previous episode.